So it's finished 2 1 at King Power Stadium. You've come to the league leaders and you're leaving with three points. Tell us what's going through your head. Well, very happy, very happy for, for the players because they had to work really hard in a, such a demanding game. Uh, happy for the staff because he's working hard and we're in a difficult situation still, so there's a lot of work to be done, but I think we deserve these small <laughs> victories, these small steps uh, forward into the right direction, and as well, especially for the 3,000 people who came here to support us and were amazing during 95 minutes that were not easy to against a very good team. And when you're playing against a very good team, you've got to have your moments of quality. I mean, talk us through that first goal. It was such a well-worked move from Rangers. Yeah, I think that we have to adapt to the game scenario. Obviously, we prefer to have the ball more, be high on the pitch, try to counter press. But unless there is a Premier League side, in my opinion, they, I'm sure that they will be up, they will go up, and I'm sure that they have top top quality. So it's not easy to play against them because they are so smart the way they play. When when you want to jump a bit more aggressive on the pressure, they find easily third men. They find the combinations to break lines. And yeah, I think that it was very important to have the discipline through the 95 minutes we play, uh, keep the focus, be smart when was the right moment to. To, to press them well, but at the same time be sharp inside the box. And I think that with it, the opportunities we had, this first goal, the second goal as well, it was because the team managed to have the sharpness required to win a game like this. Was part of the pride today the defensive work put in by all 11 players, even the attacking players, particularly Anderson throughout that first half? Yeah, all the players are working very hard and I think that that has been almost from day one since I arrived. I think all the players understood that if we want to get out of the situation where we are, we need, we need commitment, we need focus, we need uh, the very best of all of them in all, in all the parts of the game because uh, everything is, 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 is very close to it uh, in the way we attack, is the way we defend and so on. But I think that today was especially difficult because it was a lot of moments without the ball against a team that has quality in all the positions. So all the credit for the work that they have done. And for you as the manager, bringing on Sinclair Armstrong, seeing him score with his first touch of the game, that must have been a nice feeling for you. Yeah, but nice, nice. I'm happy for him because I didn't put the ball inside the net. It was him, so all the credit to him because it was a great first touch and it's a good way to start the game. So it's important that he understands that uh, he's, he's, he's a player that in certain game scenarios it was today against teams that are pressing so high. When we are beating a low block, when we take the lead, he's a player that, that is so important for the team and he did really well today as well. Was it frustrating though that Leicester managed to get themselves back into the game so soon after we scored the second? Was that one thing of concern, if anything, for you? Yeah, and it's difficult to have the perfect game, especially against a team that can punish you. But we got this situation just because we got we lost the possibility to go in a counter just one minute before this action. And at the end, Leicester, when, when they can get the ball high on the pitch, they can keep the ball for a long time so you stay in low block you get tired legs and at the end we concede this free kick so yeah I'd be disappointed because from opportunity to go on counter at the end we end conceding a goal in a in a crucial moment because obviously they could put much more pressure at the end of the game and I'm sure you want to celebrate this but of course it's West Bromwich Albion on Wednesday night how do you use this victory going into that one I spoke with the players that we have still a lot of work to, to do, so we are definitely progressing in the right direction. But when you look at the other teams, they are doing as well their job, so it's going to be tough and we need to make sure that we are happy about today's victory. But of course, we need to keep on winning because that's how tough is this league, that we need to make sure that all the progress that we have done so far in the last weeks, in the last months, uh, cannot cannot be stopped now. We need to keep on pushing until perhaps the last day of, of, the, of the season. So be humble, keep on working and we have achieved nothing so far.